for those that already know offline, like I do, what can we expect to see from it in 2019 and beyond? Have we got anything, any I announcements th- I, to I, make? I, I, anything I, I new think, happening? Well, interesting enough, I, I, <clears throat> I started to amend or adapt the content. And actually, last time when you were there, I just threw it over to the audience towards the end. Because people have interesting stories of their own. Often, the most unlikely people emerge with some fascinating insights which you never imagined like from them. Leonardo DiCaprio buying you a drink and you not saying me personally no, no the no. lady next to me that's Remember? right yes you did say <laughs> yeah that's absolutely right but it, it is amazing in yeah. a way and yeah and, and funny, I did a previous dinner and the question I actually posed to people was unexpected encounters with animals ah. because I was saying this about the moose when I met in Wyoming <laughs> yeah. and I said to other people in the room anybody got an experience with animals that's they want right. to share and it's amazing what people revealed. One person who met this enormous 40 stone orangutan called Dave in the Borneo had a picture of him with her. Somebody else climbing mountains in Rwanda with the gorillas. Somebody else indeed had a most unexpected experience with a neighbor's dog, which was a little more prosaic perhaps, but no less amusing for all that. And what emerges of course is that everybody has a story within them. Yep. The question really is, can you encourage them to share it? Nobody's giving you a mark out of 10, nobody cares about that kind of thing. But offline, what matters to me is people actually come together and they share and they're open. In terms of what happens next year, look, I think all kinds of things happen next year. I think the first thing to say is that I am not actually got any fixed plans. I think what's interesting for me is that obviously the formula works anywhere. I could do it in America. I was approached to do it there. Okay. Our places besides. The challenge I have, and you may have it in a slightly similar way, is there's only one of me. Yeah. And I am aware of the fact that I can perhaps dilute the brand because I was approached many years ago about a franchise, and I said, no, I don't feel it's appropriate. Mm. I don't feel the ethos will be consistent with what I'm trying to do. And as things have moved on, I've just realized, in fact, that a bit like you in a way, with your sustainability business, everybody has a need for offline in one form or another. Some people are very natural and very adaptable, they actually fit and move around. Other people are very different and awkward, don't quite know. Even people who you might think otherwise. In fact, there was one person who was on your table who should remain nameless, who was a very successful businesswoman. And she said, I've been to numerous events before. I've handled all kinds of senior people and the bankers and so on and so forth. But when I came to the offline dinner for the first time, she's been two or three times before, she said I was frozen like a child being presented in front of a huge auditorium. But once I actually got going, I realized actually, it was incredibly inviting because nobody really cared what I did before, how much money I'd made or the status of my business and so forth. And once I realized that, I started to relax. And I've taken a break. And she said to me just the other day, fair enough, you know, it, 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 it is downtime. I think this is really interesting because we shared a few comments on LinkedIn recently about my networking post. So networking as a word can terrify some people. And it's terrified me before in previous roles. But of course, to your point, it's just talking to people and it's something that we all do every day but you know have you had people who are when you pitch offline to someone new do you get shy people who are quite reluctant to think oh scary networking dinner a bunch of strangers and how do you get them over that i never mention networking that's the first thing to say i mean it's implied but i don't actually mention it specifically by name when i used to say that invitation rather makes it clear there are dinner with friends. Yes, really. And, and in a way, because it doesn't say very much, people are quite intrigued. Mm. And a lot of people bring other people in turn. So, you know, you brought Kate last time and yep. a lot of people brought many others over the, the, as well. And that really gives a slightly different element because I don't know either. It's not as though somehow I've met people before, but um, there's a connection through their business yep. or somebody I go to football with. There's no connection at all. So for me, in a way, that's also a challenge in the best possible way. Yeah, that's good. How do you find a blend which is on the one hand accessible and on the other hand where people feel as though they've got something to offer.